You know, I've always wondered, since Kadima only raced in the Storm Realm, how would he actually do if he wasn't captured by the drones and if Taro actually helped him? Well, today I'm going to answer that. Now, the first thing we have to talk about is his background. And you know, it's weird. Usually by looking at a character's background, we can gather a baseline skill that they have before the world race, but it turns out that every description of every driver details their personality more so than their driving. And so, of course, I went to, you guessed it, the World Race Comics. In the World Race Comics, it is stated that he has a variety of different vehicle experiences and that he drove to save lives. From this, we can gather that Kadeem is a quick thinker. Clearly, as we see, he is able to realise that he can utilise his spikes and parachute to save himself. The second thing we should note is that he was one of the leaders of the World Race. Now this is extremely relevant as if Tesla acknowledges your skill, you are already in the top tier of those drivers that he selects. Even in Accelerators, the top tier drivers are Kurt, Vert and Taro, also leaders from the World Race. These drivers were handpicked to lead their teams which is an acknowledgement of their skill. Which means that Kadim is already at least above everyone in the Accelerodrome, with the exception of Vert, Taro and Kurt. Now the only data set that we have to look at is the World Race, which reveals some interesting things. In the first leg of the World Race, Kadim actually came second behind Kurt. Granted that Kurt would have been even way more ahead if he didn't stop and throw the night trucks. In the second leg of the World Race, he drew with Taro, one of the best drivers in Accelerator's universe. But again, Kurt would have come first if he didn't stop to cheat. As for the third leg, he would have come first by miles if he didn't throw and go for the wheel. As for the fourth leg, that doesn't really count for any driver really because it wasn't even a proper race to begin with. As a side note, in the world race, I do think Kurt is better than Taro at that point in time given the evidence, but in Accelerators, Taro surpasses him. Basically, what the legs show is solid proof that Kadim is one of the top tier drivers in the series. In my opinion, nobody beats Vert when he's focused, but since he's inconsistent, Taro and Kurt are above him, and so is Kadim. I honestly think that Kadim during the realms would have done what Taro did, come third to second place most of the time. Anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching.